Hilsha, called ilish in Bangla, is the national fish of Bangladesh. It is an important part of the national tradition and culture. Throughout popular novels, short stories, and poetry, it is referred to as the silver crop. Since ancient times, Hilsha has been consumed by Bengalis. It is served at most important festivities. During the Bengali New Year, it is served as part of panta ilish, or sunken stale rice. It is believed that this dish, if eaten as the first meal of the year, will bring good fortune throughout the rest of the year. Newlyweds are presented with Hilsha, and it is often given to friends on special occasions. There is a belief that a pair of Ilish bring good luck if they are presented to the goddesses on Durga Puja and Saraswati Puja. A delicacy, Hilsha is sought after for its taste and fragrant aroma when cooked. Hilsha is an essential part of a healthy diet, as it is rich in micronutrients, including omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin A, and zinc. Every year, about 0.4 million tons of Hilsha is caught, of which about 60% is from Bangladesh. The rest is from India, Myanmar, and the other countries within the Bay of Bengal region. However, increases in demand have led to overfishing of Hilsha, whose stocks have been diminished by pollution and siltation of rivers. A migratory fish, Hilsa breed in the Padma, Meghna, and Jamuna rivers. It is during the breeding period that Hilsa are most at risk. Fishers using illegal nets during this period catch both the pregnant mothers and the juvenile fish, the Jatka. To protect and enhance the Hilsa fishery, the government of Bangladesh has instituted a Hilsa Fisheries Management Action Plan that establishes five sanctuaries along the Badma Meghna rivers and promotes seasonal fishing bans during the Hilsha breeding period and general fishing bans on the Jatka. This ban has only been partially successful. To stop the decline of Hilsa stocks, there must be a systematic approach towards the conservation of this species. First, Hilsa habitats need to be protected. Second, the Hilsa fishing ban during breeding season must be monitored and enforced. Third, Alternate livelihoods must be secured for the poorest fishers. Approximately 450,000 fishers are dependent on the Hilsa fishery for their livelihoods. Lastly, national awareness of the ban and public cooperation is imperative. Ecofish Bangladesh, funded by USAID and implemented by the Department of Fisheries and World Fish, seeks to improve the resilience of the Hilsa fishery and the livelihoods that depend on it. It's our duty to conserve the Hilsa fish for future generations and to promote the well-being for the millions who depend on the Hilsa for food security, nutrition, and income. Let's conserve Hilsa, our national pride.